Which one? I don't see it. What is going on, my reefing fam? Speaking about color, that is. Ah! There she is. Back this. Man, we have a lot of us. Go pick one. I really like this shirt. You should wear this more often. It's going down the drain. Right here. Okay, a lot of glue. You're gonna glue your fingers for sure. Always. Okay. Just glue one more. We'll fix it up. Now we're gonna feed it some. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Today I want to do a coral spotlight because we haven't done one in a while here in the store and we don't usually have these. These are quite rare. I'm actually kind of surprised that Tia has not stolen one already. Hello. No, For... I actually did. Oh, she did? Oh, shit. <laughs> Which one? I don't see it. In the middle. In the bottom. Oh, right. Dead center. Hello. This is a... I'm going to give you a chance to guess. I guess it's in the title. This is stupid. It's called a St. Thomas mushroom and we do not get them very often in the store and why did Tia steal one because one it's freaking beautiful and two she's got a very nice mushroom garden going on here orange yeah we never see them in orange speaking about color that is a good segue into these okay comment below which one would you pick out of any of these so you can see that orange not so common these in general not so common blue we don't get too often we have some cool green ones some red some reddish green that one's kind of pink so these beautiful little animals they're part of the rhodactus family and they kind of resemble bounce mushrooms like you see right there on the vesicles hmm let me go get the macro lens so we can get up close and personal you can see right there up see that see those vesicles let me show you a bounce mushroom now just for comparison here's another rhodactus mushroom starting to bounce oh you see that and then I'll show you the real deal bounce. Ah, there she is. That is the OG bounce mushroom. Now we're talking like proper, proper bounce. Like most mushroom corals, very easy to care for. No special care requirements on these ones. But you know, they make a real showpiece, a true centerpiece. They can get a lot bigger than most mushrooms. So I've seen them get up to like three four inches in diameter and there's another mushroom that's similar like the tonga mushroom or hairy mushroom they look similar but not quite like these saint thomas ones if you are lucky enough to find one they are almost always sold not almost always they're always sold as individual polyps you're not going to find a rock covered in them and i think when it comes to mushroom corals this is probably one of the most rare they're only found in the caribbean and yeah, you're not gonna walk into a reef store and see these every single day. Now you can see for placement, Tia's put it really in a great spot here. It's kind of shaded. It's got this overhang. So you wanna put them in indirect light. They really do not like a lot of light. Otherwise, they're gonna shrivel up. You'll know almost right away. And you can see here that it's puffy and fat, just like the other mushrooms. Low light, low flow. They just wanna chill. They just wanna hang out. They don't need crazy current. Discosoma, like these ones, can take some more. But um, these, like when you find them, they're almost on the underside of rocks. So she's really got the perfect, perfect spot there for placement where it's almost shaded. These are another type of mushroom. I just want to show you while I have them here in stock. These are Florida Recordia. Man, mushrooms come in so many different varieties. Let me show you some of the other ones we have right now too. These are Yumas. They're kind of like Recordia. People always ask, how do you tell the difference? To me, these are like, the bubbles are bigger on the tips. Recordia. Yuma, you see the difference? Discosoma come in a lot of different varieties. Discosoma, Discosoma, Discosoma. Another Discosoma, we usually just call these discos. Another disco, man, look at that one. And Rhodactus, you can get some really, really funky colors like this one here. Rhodactus, man, we have a lot of mushrooms right now. This is a good time to make this video. Yuma, another Rhodactus, that's a really cool one. Another one here, this is a green one. Almost all same care requirements. Easy, but low light, low flow, closer to the bottom of the tank. If you put these guys high up, they are not gonna appreciate it and they are gonna let you know very quickly that they're unhappy. So I guess you could frag them like some mushrooms. Uh, Dylan is really good at fragging mushrooms. He cuts them right down the middle of the mouth and he's able to separate these into quarters. I am not brave enough to do that, but they will drop babies around their base. So they're photosynthetic and carnivorous. If you want to feed them, they'll eat just about anything. Fish food, coral food, reef roids, fauna marin, italis pellets, whatever you have that's going to fall in their mouth. They're not picky eaters and it's a lot of fun to watch them eat. Maybe I can spot feed them actually. This is not a mushroom. This is actually a rock flower anemone, but I've seen um, in the past that sometimes clownfish will actually host 
um, not the rock flowers, but the St. Thomas because when they get big, when they get to full size, they can sort of resemble like a mini carpet anemone. And if it's not the brightest clownfish in the world, it'll actually end up hosting it. What are you doing, starfish? Oh my god. Get out of there. It's going down the drain. Live here. Okay, because I said they're rare, I've decided I also want to keep one. Isn't it cute? So I'm thinking, Tia, where would you put a St. Thomas mushroom? Oh, show me your shirt. Turn around. Look at this. Ah, Fragbox TV. Nice shirt. Where would you put a St. Thomas mushroom in here? I would move this green one to the side here mm -hmm. and put it there. But he's so happy. But the St. Thomas is... Oh, hello, special. fish. Because maybe we can put a little rock there and do like three. Three. Oh. How about one? Can I'm going with that spot. We'll see. Tia says it's going to be too big. Yeah. Can we move the, the daisy? No. I don't want to move anything. Look how nice they are. Everyone's so happy. Can I shift the rock? Mm. I want to make an addition without making changes. Okay, what about here? Too much light, no? Um, Let's go pick one. I really like this shirt. You should wear this more often. I, I gotta wash it. I'm thinking, because <laughs> they're very expensive. That one? Yeah, that one. Or no. the, I like the pink. Oh, I like this the, one. It has yellow. No, because there's green already there. Look, next to it with the blue mouth, with the blue base. Yeah. That one? Yeah, that it's one. It's pretty standard. No. It's really red. No, I pick him. Okay. You sure not the green one? No. I already got green. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Look. I think it's gonna get nicer. I think it is really nice. Bottom? I can't Show us the buttocks. It. Yeah, it's got some rubble on it. Perfect. That's where we're gonna hit it with the glue. Kinda looks like, go oh, come back. Like a jellyfish. Like a jellyfish, yeah. Bloom. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. What are you doing? What if I move the disco song? Oh. It's red. Love everything the way it is. It's it's not gonna March fit. likes no change. There. Okay, hit it. Okay. Right on the edge of that rock. This thing's doing really well. Sales plug, Reef Casa, six gallon flat. Hello, my favorite tank in the store. Okay, what's Tia doing? She's gluing it. The glue. Oh, but Tia's really good at gluing your fingers. I am. That's her specialty. Check out the Recordia. This one got a little bit bleached there on top. You see how it's light in color? The other ones are kind of more rich and full, and this one is almost translucent. We do not want to like that. This is a really good part. Oh, soft coral, yeah. Can yeah. stay quite a long time. A lot of glue. You're gonna glue your fingers for sure. Always. Yeah. Oh, already. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah. It's kind of a little dark. But it's okay, because they're good in, in the shade. Like in your tank, he's in the overhang. Yeah. Try and move him a little bit more towards the front. So it's going to open. Remember? We'll glue one more. We'll fix it up. No video is complete without a sidetrack. We start talking about corals. And now, talk about gluing Tia's fingers. Yeah, that's a nice spot. Look how easy it is to glue corals. Maybe you're watching this video, and you're thinking of get into keeping some corals at home. Look how easy. Sort of. Sometimes you got to play with the glue. Ta-da! That's it. Looks great. Now we're gonna feed it some coral pellets. These are designed for LPS, but we're gonna feed it to these guys because they're so large, they can gobble it right up. Even if they catch fish food, frozen brine, frozen mysis, reef roids, maybe coral dust, I think any reef chili, any food out there. Then These are not picky or finicky eaters. using a regular turkey baster here. This is really a great tool that you should have for feeding. Go and get a turkey baster. Or we also sell a 20 inch pipette if you don't want to put your hands in. And that's it, a couple pellets each. The coals take uh, I really like this little one. Minutes. Which one, the pink one? The green one. In the corner? Yeah. Should have kept that one. I might. These are quite expensive, so maybe just keep one. Mm. Mm. I guess I didn't mention that in the video. These retail for 150 Canadian dollars each. So I guess the price is going to vary where you live, and if you can find them. He is also giving some of that same food over here to some of the rocks. He's crazy. Okay guys, that's it. We're gonna wrap up this video on the St. Thomas mushroom. If you've got any questions about keeping corals, you wanna make a comment, recommendation, you can hit us up in the comments below or email us, fragbox 
Corals at gmail.com. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified when we do a video like this again, which is pretty often. And I forgot to mention, in this video, we are here in Toronto, Ontario. People are always, or I'm always surprised when people say, oh, I didn't realize you're here in Canada. Yes, we are. Happy, friendly Canadians. Look at these Nasaria snails just going up town on whatever Tia just fed. That's it. I'm going to leave you with a nice shot of this St. Thomas that Tia has kept for her studio 12 gallon. And wish that you have a very nice day or afternoon or morning wherever you're watching from. Bye for now.